What's up guys, it's Ben. I am uh, headed from Memphis over to Lakeland. I just picked my best friend up, Brandon, who I have not seen in three years. Um, we're going to see Lily, my second oldest daughter, performing a play. She's always been Brandon's favorite of my kids. Uh, Y'all say hey to Brandon. He can't say hi back uh, because a week before Christmas in 2019, he overdosed and died. And all that's left of him is in that box. Um, the impact that death had on me is profound, to say the least. Uh, he, uh, he was my wingman when I met Jess. If it wasn't for him, James and Ava wouldn't exist. And my two younger children. And Brandon got me off heroin. He was there when I got kicked out of the halfway house that we just bought. He was my absolute best friend in the entire world. Uh, we met in jail. Um, and it took me three years, but I did finally go pick his ashes up. And, uh, and I'm taking him to see Lily in the play tonight. It may sound odd, uh, and it probably is, but that's, that's kind of just how I, I cope with things as in odd ways, I guess. I think what I'm getting at here is, uh, did not have to end like this for Brandon. He had the whole world there ready to help him. And all he had to do was hit a point where he was willing to ask for and receive help. Um, and unfortunately with the prevalence of fentanyl in America in 2019 and it's exponentially worse today, he didn't live long enough to get help. He didn't live long enough to bottom out. And that's, I mean, really one of the reasons I'm so relentless in my search to make sure people know that we're here. I, I don't feel like I did all I could have done for Brandon. And I did more than any rational person ever would have done. There's not one single person on this earth that would tell me I should have or could have done more for him. But I don't feel that I did all I could. I feel like, uh, I, feel like I failed him. I had to walk away. I had to leave him. I had to let him hurt. Uh, because at that point in, in my journey, it was self-preservation. He was going to take me down with him. And we can't have that. But uh, anyway, I, I'll always carry just an enormous amount of guilt over that. And I know it's irrational. I, I know there's no logic behind that. Um, you know, I tell people all the time, you can't two want... Miles, shut two up, exit 20 onto Canada. You can't want recovery enough to make somebody else better. You can't want it for them. Um, so if there's a takeaway here, if you're out there suffering, dude, reach out. You've got people that love you. Uh, and if you leave this earth, it's going to fucking hurt somebody. A lot. Whether you accept that or not, it's going to crush somebody's existence. Um, you may not realize how many people look up to you, depend on you, or just have an emotional tie to you that, that can't be replaced. If you know somebody that is struggling, if somebody you love is struggling, you have to understand you can't want it for them. They have to hurt enough to reach out. And when it's somebody you love, that's tricky, letting somebody you love hurt. And there is such a fine line between keeping somebody alive long enough to bottom out and enabling them that it often gets blurred. Um, there is no magic bullet. You cannot make somebody want to get better. There's no magic treatment program. There's no, you know, uh, the right words don't exist. The only thing that will make an addict or an alcoholic like me ever make changes is for them to suffer sufficiently to want to choose something different for their life. And as I intimated a minute ago, the prevalence of fentanyl on our streets and in the supply in America today is so high that just a lot of people do not live long enough to ever bottom out. And that's that's tragic. That is something we are aggressively and actively working to change. But obviously we don't control the southern border where you know most of this is coming in. We're doing all we can to make sure people understand treatment options are available to provide safe and several living arrangements. But at the end of the day, you cannot want this for them. Um, and so until they choose it, they're gonna end up in a box like Brandon. Unless they choose it.